Mr. Durkin is ready to get us underway and we're off. Ebsley kicking towards the Swanscombe end. It's going to be in play, played at probably a, a faster pace than Saturday's was. Oh, and there's a challenge. Is it in the area? The referee's got a yellow card out and I think it's outside the box, but Ebsley are going to get the free kick with intent. Big moment for Ebsley. Here's O'Neill. O'Neill curls it, just dips too late over the bar. Martin won't catch. So throw in for order shot. And Ben Chapman is being booked for running back. And when the throw was taken, it hit him on the back. He could never have seen it. And that is the most ridiculous booking I think I've seen this season. And it's intercepted by O'Neill, Domi, now Edsa, Edsa runs hard, Widrington sticks with him for company, drives him diagonally across the pitch, Edsa back to Martin, Domi in the box, Domi does he get a corner, no he doesn't, good save there by Von Stabersherf, been easier that way, here is Martin, Martin over the halfway line, Inside to Edsa. Edsa. He's got Polian to his left. There's Polian in the box. Polian. Offside. It's the first time we've seen Polian get a glimmer of space. To large. Back to O'Keefe. Robbed in midfield by Polian. Pol Polian ran into Rowe again. Ball runs to Domi. Domi. Oh, what a goal! Domi, what a goal! Franklin Domi makes it 1-0 Ebsleet with 31 minutes on the clock. Franklin Domi was set up by Polion and it was an absolute screamer from Franklin Domi. Ebsleet 1, order shot nil. I think that's the first shot of the game the fleet have had. The goalkeeper could get nowhere near it. And uh, O'Neill does well to avoid the challenge from Talaj. Gets the ball away to Domi. Domi surges through midfield with an amazing engine and plays the ball out to Chapman on the left wing. He's got Jones in front of him. Ben Chapman to Edsa. Edsa to McQueen. McQueen oh, played the ball in. It came off of Rowe. Escapes the lunge of Widrington. Chapman on the left wing. Here's Polion. Polion drags the ball wide. Put a shot to find an equaliser. Polion on the right side of the box. This is an area he likes. Inside. It's Domi again. Clifford. Oh, Clifford over the bar. That was a wonderful move by Ebsfleet. O'Keefe. O'Keefe is picking out Jones in the area. Oh, and a shot drilled in by Frost straight into the midriff. And it's the Fleet fans making all the noise. And there is the half-time whistle. They've decided that, uh, the referees decided that uh, it's time to take the half-time break and they go in at half-time with a scoreline Ebsleet leading by a goal to nil with a goal scored on 31 minutes by Franklin Domi an absolute screamer try and catch it uh, on the highlights uh, but for now we're going to take a break and we'll be back in about 15 minutes until then bye for now
Jones on the right wing in a defensive position. Back to Minoga. He launches a crossfield ball met by McQueen. O'Neill, McQueen again. Oh, and it's given away cheaply. Here's Talage. Talage in the box. His pocket is picked. And Josh Wright gets the ball away to Edsa. Nice play by Aldershot as they get forward on the absolute go. Talage goes down. He's appealing for somebody to be booked. And it is a booking. I'm not sure who it was for. And it was Wakely. Talage runs up. And it hits the roof of the net. Not a bad effort from so far out. He and the attendance has been announced as 1,561, of which there's a very healthy 329 uh, from Aldershot. Here's Pollyon. He's in the area. Pollyon. Oh, he keeps the ball. It's inside some Domi. Oh, Domi's shot. Easily taken by Von Stappenschurf. Oh, and the ball goes to Widrington, who slips. Let's the ball go to Domi. Polion is in the area. Polion shoots. The goalkeeper saves. It's an absolute corner. And that's the first time we've really seen Polion find some space and get a shot away. Kobe Rowe to Widrington, moving forward from the left-back position. Barham squeaking through. He would love to score against the former Kent rival. And bodies on the line in the fleet area to get the ball away with Edsa. Now, McQueen, pa Polion, Polion outside the box. He's got Rowe coming back. Polion drops his shoulder, gets away from him. Yes, Polion! Dominic Polion makes it 2 0 Ebsleet. Polion! Sixty-seven minutes on the clock. Dominic Pollyon gets his first of the season in only his second game. Ebsleet. Free kick goes all the way downfield. Pollyon is oh Polion was in pursuit and when he got there the referee's assistant raised his flag. Polyon can't believe it. Down the line looking for Polion. The ball's away from Rowe. It's Tanner. Tanner pushed over by Minoga. The referee didn't want to know. And this is what supporters really can't understand. Oh, a brilliant catch by a gentleman in front of the press box. Domi. Oh, O'Neill nutmegs Harfield. Here's a break. Frost going through the middle. Ball played out to the right-hand side. Oh, and the ball struck the inside of an upright. It was substitute Glover that hit the upright. Ball out to the left-hand side. It's Stokes. And there is the final whistle. Absolute win. 2-0. They take the points. And from Stonebridge Road, they get their first home win of the season. And Ebsleet go on to play Gateshead away on Saturday. Uh, Radio Camp will have coverage for that one. And I'll be back with you when they return to league action. This time a bit closer to home on these green grasses of home against Kidderminster on Saturday the 26th of August. So from Stonebridge Road, goals from Franklin Domi and Dominic Polion. They've sealed the deal for Ebsleet. Aldershot provided a stern test, but they go away empty-handed. Thanks for joining us, and until next time, bye for now.